Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about CPR as a basic life support that is given to an unconscious patients. So what is CPR? CPR is a cardio pulmonary resuscitation where it is given when a patient's um, heartbeat and breathing have stopped. And the reason we give CPR to a patient is because we want to prevent the um, organ and tissue damage due to the um, oxygen is not being delivered to the uh, organs and the tissue itself. So, when doing CPR, there are a few important keywords that I use, which is D R C A B. D is for danger, R for response, C for circulation, F for airway, and B for breathing. For D, the danger, we should make sure that the patient's surroundings are safe and there's no other danger that could impose or harm the patient when the patient is unconscious. And for response, we check for the patient responsiveness by tapping on the patient's shoulder and ask if they are okay. Sir, are you okay? And next, we check for the circulations where I check the pulse for the patient by palpating the carotid artery. And at the same time, I also look for any breathing and also any rises in the chest. If the pulse is not um, detected, I should continue to chest uh, compression. And remember that while checking for pulse, it should be only around 5 seconds and not more than that. So while doing chest compression, remember to use the heel of your hand and place it on the patient chest which aligns to the uh, patient nipples and your second hand which also uh, to support the first hand and make sure your arms are straight and use your whole body as a way to provide pressure while doing the chest compression so while performing chest compression make sure your arms are straight and your body is on top of the patient's perpendicular and uh, chest compression should be done 30 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and make sure that the chest compressions the depth of the chest compression should be around 5 cm and allow for it, uh, the chest to fully recoil and after the chest compression, two rescue breaths should be given to the patient and remember that the chest compression is done at the rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Now I proceed with the A for airway. So for airway, make sure that the patient uh, head is tilted and the chin is lifted and when we give to mouth to mouth breathing ensure that the patient nose is pinched cover the patient mouth fully with your own mouth and then when applying breathing look for any chest rises after that we can continue our chest compression remember to perform 30 chest compression and give two rescue breaths at the end and 30 breath compression, 2 rescue breath is considered as one cycle and we should do this for another five, uh, 4 rounds which in total do it for 5 cycles and after doing the chest compression rescue breath for 5 cycles we should check for patient pulse by palpating the carotid artery so palpating the carotid artery we use 3 fingers and place uh, at the patient's neck and feel for any pulsation after checking the pulse, if patient is still remain unconscious or no pulsation is detected, another 5 cycle of CPR is initiated. And after that, if patient regains his conscious and pulsations also are there, breathing also there, we should place the patient at a recovery position where it is on the left lateral side. Okay, cut, sir.